Should the Detroit Lions re-sign Jared Davis? Let's talk Lions. Thank you for liking, for commenting, and subscribing to the channel. I appreciate it. It tells YouTube, hey, we like what this guy's doing. And then it puts me out there for other people to see. So, thank you. Now listen, this video is coming to you because you asked for it. A couple weeks ago, probably like two weeks ago, I put out a video about the five free agents that I think the Detroit Lions should let walk. But you posted many comments. Many of you had a lot to say regarding specifically one individual. That individual being Jared Davis. You guys can check out the original video right here. Since that video, I got many comments, many discussions with a bunch of you guys and girls regarding Davis and you all pushing to keep him. There was many comments pushing to keep Davis and giving him another shot in this new regime. So I did a little research. I wanted to take some time, really dig into it and see, okay, is it worth keeping Davis as we move into this new era? Off the bat, I had originally placed Davis on the top five guys that I think we should let go. But as the Lions have since that video, as the organization has begun to hire all of these new coaches, the more coaches we hired, the more I began to rethink keeping Davis. And I think there's room for him moving in this new regime. So let's break it down. Jared Davis was the 21st overall pick in the 2017 draft by us out of Florida. What we knew about him was he was an all grit, aggressive player. We saw that, we saw his performance in Florida, and we knew getting him that he was just savage out on the field. However, under Matt Patricia's leadership, his coaching with Corey Unlin, Davis fell apart. Davis fell by the wayside to the point where we declined his fifth year option so he will be a free agent this offseason. He is a free agent this offseason. So should the Detroit Lions re-sign him? So we look at Davis. He has not lived up to all of the potential that we were promised, right? You and I both know that he has not lived up to what we need him to be, what we were told he would be for the Lions. Quite frankly, Davis would have succeeded under Caldwell and our old DC, Austin. I really think that he would have had, we would have seen much more development, player development, mental development on the field. However, Bob Quinn got what he wanted, gave Caldwell the boot, brought in Matty P, and Matty P used Davis in a way that, well, Davis was not equipped. But as my old man always said, Use the right tool for the job. You use the wrong tool for the job and it's just going to go haywire. You're going to break something. Maybe your hand, maybe the tool. Who knows? But it's just not going to work. Well, Matt Patricia did not use Davis properly. He wanted Davis to be this guy who could be on the field, read the offensive scheme, and then act accordingly. He wanted Davis to be this mental guru out at the linebacker position, but that's not who Davis is. Davis is an aggressive, all grit missile out there. No, he doesn't read the offensive schemes. He's not, that's not who he's built to be. That's not how he's ever played. So to put him in that type of defensive position just wasn't going to work. Looking at your comments, reading articles, watching analysts, everybody has called out the fact that Davis was used improperly. That's just the truth. Under Patricia, there was just so much confusion. It was like a cleric casting blindness deafness on the enemy. It was unbelievable. There was confusion everywhere. Our linebackers couldn't figure out where to go, how to drop back, who to pick up. And we just saw so much confusion just take hold defensively of our boys. And the, the biggest problem I have with this is Matt Patricia was supposed to be this huge defensive mastermind, this guru. And all he proved was he is not that. My God. And the fact that the Patriots picked him back up, good for you, Belichick. Have your little boy back. I don't want to say, I can't, I can't. I can't. Of course, the Patriots would pick him back up. All I know is Patricia didn't help guys like Davis on our team. 
it doesn't help to take somebody and force them into a position that they are not equipped to be in. Patricia wanted him to use his mind to read the offense and then to play accordingly. And yeah, that's a lovely idea and that's a great idea. But A, he wasn't coached well enough to obviously do that. And throwing somebody into the middle of the sea and saying, good luck, I know you don't know how to swim, but give it your best shot, you'll figure it out. It's not It's not what's going to happen and that's not what happened for Davis. However, however, taking a step back with the new hires of both Dan Campbell and Aaron Glenn, I think this opens up a whole new route for Davis on the Detroit Lions. I think it is worth re-signing him now, seeing Aaron Glenn come in and seeing Campbell come in because you listen to Campbell. First of all, it just sounds like Campbell wants Davis he in his opening press conference had I mean he didn't bring up many guys but who he did bring up was Jared Davis and he talked about his aggression and his grit if there's something that we have learned about Campbell man that guy is aggressive and he wants to bring that that aggressive style that play back to Detroit and I could absolutely see him using a guy like Davis for that for what Davis is good for, for being the nitty gritty player out on the field. And I think between Campbell and Glenn, looking at Glenn, Glenn can properly coach him how to read the offensive schemes while allowing him to play to his strengths, which is get out there and crush them. Both of these guys will be able to teach Davis how to read properly the schemes of the offense and not just be a a friggin' missile but be not just be something that you're not now that the lions have hired some of these coordinators some of these coaches looking at davis in this type of regime in this new lions era i think we could actually see some solid success and that's why i'd like to re-sign jared davis now seeing the the coaches coming in I would like to re-sign Davis. He wants to be here. I think that under this leadership, we would see him turn the corner and find success. I attribute his abysmal year to a lack of good leadership and using the right tool for the right job. But what do you think? With these new hires, do you think that Davis could actually turn the corner and be worthy of that first round draft pick that we used back in 2017? I look forward to reading it. Drop your thoughts in the comments. We'll discuss as we always do. And I'll catch you next time on Let's Talk Lions.